happening? Screen time. So uh, we're back at the garden yet again, and today we're picking out, uh, we're gonna harvest all of my fingerling potatoes, and we're gonna poke around. We've got, um, here's my squash patch. If you guys can see, you see all this white on the leaves? So we have powdery mildew. So I just got back. We kind of missed last weekend. We were uh, camping at a provincial park. So um, gonna harvest the potatoes, harvest some tomatoes, and uh, I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow with uh, some spray to treat this powdery mildew. So I'll show you guys how I make that tomorrow in the, the video before I come out here. So I'm guessing some of you guys, oh, sorry guys, it's kind of, where's the sun at? There we go, bad sun angle. Um, so yeah, so we'll come back tomorrow and uh, we'll do some powdery mildew treatments and um, show you guys around. All right, show you what we're happening. Here. So all up here are my fingerling potatoes. The weeds are starting to take over. So right down the center where you can see the straw, that's the center of the patch and the potato plants are growing out both sides and they are totally dead. We've had a bunch of rain. See, there's a potato right there. Hold on. There's a potato right there. So uh, the plants are totally dead, which is going to make it a little harder to harvest them because they're going to be harder to find. Um, and then, like I said, the weeds are growing. But at least I know the center because I've got the straw down. So I'll pull the straw out as I go. We'll pull the weeds out as I go. And the weeds border my cucumber patch. See? So... Uh, by the time we're done, this whole section out here, right to, so that's my neighbor's garden right here. So potatoes are here. There's, I don't know, 12 or 15 feet. So as we go, we're going to pull out all the weeds, harvest the potatoes, remove the straw. And then we're going to have to be careful because some of the vines from my melons and squashes and such have grown across, just like in my last potato video that I have yet to uh, release. So it's going to look a lot different. Here's what it looks like from when we harvested the last bit of potatoes. See how the vines are crisscrossing? So, yep, that's the plan. All right, so to harvest potatoes, all you need is one of these, potato fork, and a tote, and your gloves, because uh, I've got thistles and stuff up in here. So we're, uh, we're going to start going. All right. So here we are. So when you get in here with your potato fork, you want to go deeper than you're thinking because if you go too shallow, you jam your potato fork into your potatoes. So you jam your fork in and then lift and then give it a shake and your potatoes fall loose. Let's get that in the sunshine. Look at that. Fingerling potatoes, so they're definitely not going to be very big. That's what we're working with so far, and we've only done, I don't know, less than four feet of the bed. The straw made a pretty big difference. There's some bug damage on some of them, but I'll go through them when I get home and pick out the ones I don't want to keep. So yeah, keep your potatoes covered with straw. It makes a, makes a big difference, especially when they get pulled out of the ground here. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's turn this camera. And angle it down. Oh no, wrong way. All right, let's see if we can do this a different way here. So you get your, oh, you can't even see that. Hang on, just a minute. Sorry about that, something happened with my camera. So just remember, when you're digging out your potatoes, they aren't going to be just underneath where you planted your potato plants. You're gonna to wanna to probably go out 12 inches or so because they can really spread. So like I said, dig them up, give them a shake and pull them out. Where's my hand? There we go. Okay, gonna keep moving down the okay. line. So we got everything dug up. 
down to the end of the bed pulled all the weeds that were here and uh that's what we got for our potatoes so these are pretty nice size for fingerlings there's a whole bunch that are you know the uh they're they're nice the white fingerling potatoes didn't grow nearly as much i mean you can see the ratio of whites to purples in here and i planted about the same amount of whites to purples here i'll turn the camera right so uh but well, that's okay so we'll take these home and i'm going to lay these out in the sun sun in the sunshine so they can cure a little bit and dry out and get some of this mud to dry off on them and uh these are going to go down into my storage room and uh yeah so that's about it for this potato video guys thanks for uh thanks for watching the video hope you guys learned a little bit anyways on you know potatoes and such so uh, a lot of my viewers that watch my channel are not actually subscribers about 75 percent of my viewers aren't subscribers so if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video and you like what you see why don't you just hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell throw me a big thumbs up because it makes a makes a big difference and helps youtube realize that you know people are interacting with the channel and um catch me on the next video because uh, i'm going to be filming probably two or three more videos today here at the garden alone and tomorrow i'll be showing you guys how to make some treatment to deal with all of this uh all of this nastiness that's on my squash plants okay all right have a great day everybody love ya see ya